Alright everyone, I have a Fire TV stick, also a Fire TV. You can see here the Fire TV remote has the voice search option. Whereas the Fire TV stick, there's no voice search option. You lose that with the Fire TV stick. However, you can use your phone to control the Fire TV stick and get that voice uh, option off your phone. I believe you can use this app with the TV or TV stick, um, but we're going to be testing it and using it with the Fire TV stick here. So let's go ahead and click install and see what the steps are to get this working. Alright, so it's downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and click open. And now connect this device to the same network as your Fire TV. So I need to go ahead and get on my Wi-Fi network. I'm on just 4G right now. Alright, I've connected to the Wi-Fi and now I've got this spinning circle it might be thinking right now. And here we have my Fire TV and my Fire TV stick. So I can select which one I want to use. I'm going to go to the Fire TV stick. And now on my TV it's showing a code. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. You guys don't need to see it, but I don't think it matters if you do see it anyways. So we put in the code, now it says getting ready. And now here we go, that's how simple it was. We have swipe, it's just giving us some uh, information here. As it's showing us the beginning information here, you have your buttons here, your home, and your select, and your back button, kind of like you have on your remote right here. And then you have your speak button up here. You can also keyboard and another menu button there and all of our buttons down here it's showing just like the remote if you slide it up so I'm gonna click start now and uh, let's go to home see what that does oh when I click home what, what I'm doing on my screen here let me go ahead and set this up to my tripod alright guys this is pretty neat this middle screen is like a movement pad you can select back and forth, go back to your last thing or home, go up. You can use this as like a mouse pad. That's pretty neat. So now we also have the ability to type on our phone, which is really nice because typing on that little remote is a pain, but you can at least type on your phone or your tablet. So really nice if you want to search. Of course, we'd probably want to go up and be in search and then go to text search and then right here we can type so that's pretty neat that makes it a lot easier to use let's go back to home now we also have the voice search which is something I was talking to you guys about so let's go ahead and try that um, just say a show that's popular now I'll pull down to speak it said okay you gotta hold it down while you're speaking orange is the new black and right there it comes up. I think you can just tap to select. Yep, just tap on the screen to select. And there we go. That's how easy it is to use this. That's pretty darn nifty. Really quick and easy to get into and set up. Got your keyboard. This is your selection of your device to connect to. So you can easily go back and forth to whichever device you want right there. No time at all. And it works right away. Simon. A little bit off the screen there, I was just hitting basically the home button. So that's pretty awesome. Works on, this is an Android phone, this is an S4. Uh, I believe they have the app for uh, Apple as well. But that is just awesome. Breaking Bad. That now I can voice talk to this Fire TV stick. So that makes the Fire TV stick really awesome for the price because it's really almost as good as the Fire TV. It's just slightly slower, but not a big deal. And with your phone here, you can do a lot of cool stuff. So if you have any questions, let me know. That's how to set up your phone with the uh, Fire TV there. And we'll see you all later.